I'll tell you a bit about uh, the unusual experiments I conducted on my hydrodynamic machine. Here is its drawing. Uh, this is a cavitation device that works like a circulation pump. Uh, so, so the storage tank capacity is 37 liters. The water treatment time, 11 minutes, 45 seconds. Engine power, 8.5 kilowatts. Temperature increase over 11 minutes. 60 degrees Celsius. What was discovered over different years? Uh, look for it. Sasha, in just for clarity, since I know, but uh, people don't, you're introducing to this slide. Yes, you're introducing the concept of water treatment time. Uh, I'll just say it's a period of time during which uh, water, uh, water was circulated through the Western circuit. Uh, what is water treatment time? Uh, After the water heats up inside the cavitation device. This means that uh, in the year 2018, processing was carried out. Measurement of oxygen eating dietary before and after treatment. Measurement accuracy not worse than one part per million. Deuterium in 12 minutes increases by 0 0.6 parts Dozens. per million. And oxygen at 17 is at two parts per million. I won't comment on how this is achieved, just an experimental fact. The second experimental fact discovered in 2011. Instead of this sleeve, there was a tube of plastics. At the end of the tube, a common black bolt was replaced. So between the bolt and the rotor, which is inside this system, that's all right circulation here. pump. Uh, thanks for That's a watching. circulation pump. So here's the thing. When processing water for about 72 minutes, from this bolt, 10 to 20 grams of black metal were transferred to the rotor. Though that is as if huge currents were emerging here. And the metal transfer wasn't in milligrams, it was 10 to 20 10, grams. Second, the experiment was conducted in the autumn of 2009. So the hydrodynamic machine was operating after uh, with the chilled water in. Water. They were playing water. It was a tank of 180 liters. It had 60 liters of water filled in. Yes, the battery uh... was oscillated by a membrane pump baby through the air. A two kilowatt cooler was drained back. So in four hours of operation of the hydrodynamic machine was transferred to a membrane pump right here. Hold us to that. From 100 to 150 grams, but I can't say if it was copper or not. Copper, copper hydroxide, or possibly copper oxide. But it was loose, a vast bio. Sasha, uh, uh... Right here again, look, this car is very similar to what Vasiliev talked about today. Uh, Par home of mentioned, uh, there is a closed water circuit here and also an open water circuit. Uh, what was the transfer of media from the surface of a closed circuit to which element of an open circuit? Here you go, right by the membrane, exactly next to the membrane. Meaning on the pump. 
body people don't get it you should Eu clarify the să... words on the pump yes yes it's Eu industry slang membrane type 50 hertz it uh, pumps takes water from the tank pumps it through the air cooler and drains it back so i emphasize not milligrams not micrograms but a vast amount of copper was transferred one might wonder where did these come from such big currents uh, these are experimental data i can uh, if there are interested people i can repeat it practically any time and finally excuse me what's the water temperature in this case this means the temperature on the coil was about 50 degrees celsius the water temperature, it was about 45 to 50 degrees. Uh, that is, the temperature was stabilized at 50 degrees Celsius. Well, to wrap up, I want to recall outstanding scientists in the field of cavitation reports by Anatoly Fedorovich from 1939 to 2003. And Afanasi Vladimirovich Stepanovich from 1938 to 2015. A series of articles was published by Anatoly Fyodorovich Kladov in 1993 about uh, to what's called a droplet nuclear fusion in its accreditor. Thank you.